Here we are at the Coda Cook Center here in Coda Cook, Quebec, where the Coda Cook Stars will take on the Ocean City Typhoons in their first matchup here in week number three. It's, it's, it's crazy to think that we're already in the third week of season eight here in the Slapshot Premier League, but in fact, it's upon us. It's 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 up for debate who's going to be out on top here at the end of the week. Uh, battle for first, a battle for sixth place ensuing throughout the this uh, second third of the regular season. But enough of that, more of the rosters that we're going to be seeing on the ice here for this matchup. First and foremost, the visiting team tonight, the Ocean City Typhoon, sitting 1-3-2 and two on the season. Five losses is a tough pill to swallow. They decided to switch it up. They decided to change up their lineup. They have T. Ridge, also known as Flappagast, on the roster for the first time in quite some time in the Pro Division. Three OGs could be on the ice tonight. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Bangled, of course, captaining Ocean City this season, followed along by Chef AJ Manboy. Uh, whether or not his name is AJ Manboy or AJ Manboy, that's uh, also been up for debate amongst the casters, and nobody has the same opinion on it. So uh, I'm just calling him Chef tonight if he does, in fact, play. Of course, Ocean City visiting Coda Cook. Coda Cook having a pretty great start to the season. This is their first time in the Pro Division. They never played Challenger. They went straight from the Intermediate Division up to Pro, and uh, they're floating with it. It's got to be said. It's got to be noted. They're 3-3 three and three on the season. One of those three losses was in overtime, so they sit right now fifth place in the standings. Debon captaining the team this season alongside KOTOR, BORAT, C-Man, and Pierre. Um... It's going to be interesting to see which of those three are on the ice here tonight. Of course, Coda Cook playing one, their first game of Week 3. Ocean City, of course, also playing their first game in Week 3. Taking a look at the trends, what we got going on after uh, the previous five from both sides of the ice. Ocean City coming off a win against the Hot Springs Hot Tamales, 8-6. That score, after a lengthy five-game losing streak, they found a way to find a Find a little tally in the W column. They did well, and uh, we'll see if they can ride that wave. If there is any momentum coming off of that matchup, Hot Springs, of course, being the ninth place team in the Pro Division. Not sure if it really lifts the spirits, but it is a W, and it is two points on the standings of their total of four. Of course, Coda Cook coming off two games in the W column. Of course, one of them being against the Hot Springs Hot Tamales as well, and the other one being a 5-6 victory over the Pittsburgh Spinners last week. Last week, Coda Cook going 2-1 two and, two and one on their three games games. Of course, if you're not familiar with how SPL is structured, these two teams are in the Pro Division. There's 10 teams in the Pro Division. Everybody plays everybody twice for a total of 18 games in the regular season. Top six make the playoffs. The 10th place team will end up relegating down to the Challenger Division, and the 9th place team of Pro will have to fight for their spot to keep it going into Season 9. Right now, Coda Cook, 5th place. Ocean City, down in the eighth spot. Take a look at the standings as they are currently. Um, Ocean City, of course, having the one and five record, two of those being in overtime. If you lose in overtime, you get one standing point, contrary to the zero if you lose it in regulation. If you win a game at any point, overtime or regulation, you get two points in the standings. Plymouth Plague not having any overtime decisions. Their numbers even alongside Colorado, Hershey, Noobs, and of course, the uh, Hot Springs Hot Somalis finding two victories so far this season. Last night being one of the biggest upsets I've seen in SPL history against Against the Plymouth Plague. Um, that one was actually in overtime. Have Plymouth not lost it in regulation? Hang on. I, I might kick myself for this one. They have not lost in regulation yet. The Plymouth Plague's two losses have been in overtime. The first being in week one to the Colorado Cobras. That was broadcasted on the SPL Network if you want to go look at that one back on the 22nd of January. And then yesterday at 8 o'clock, uh, Hot Springs hosted Plymouth and that was also an overtime decision. Hot Springs won it 9-8. Colorado won it 6-5. And that's where Plymouth's two losses come from. So uh, we'll see what happens. Colorado just needs one win to take that first place spot back. They still have all three of their week three games remaining. And uh, we'll see uh, We'll see how the cookie crumbles on that uh, in that department. But uh, taking a look at the odd shot leading our uh, players to watch here tonight. Of course, Panarin, the all-time greatest. He's first in saves, first in games played in SPL history. He's going to be down there on the ice. Probably is what I was told from the captain Bangled. Of course, he's 14th in all-time goals, all division goals. He has 378 ticks to that helmet. And of course, he's seventh in points overall, having 879 in his career. Um, he's he's one of the contenders to get 1,000 points first. Of course, Kyler leading that race has 969 points. Crooks is second with 950. Meat Sale is third with um, 947. Blue and fourth. 943. Fuiko hitting 900 exactly. And of course, Rodeo has 897. 
and that leaves Panarin at seventh with 879. So uh, he's working his way up. He's punching his way through the rankings. Of course, Rodeo, a longtime slap one player, still in the rankings alongside Meatsale. Meatsale finding the back of the net a lot of the time thanks to Panarin's passing game. So uh, a lot of Meatsale's points are Panarin's points. So uh, that's kind of how they made their way up in the points department. Of course, back in slap one, uh, all-time points goes to Meatsale with 495 back before rebound was even a conceptualized idea. Of course, Rodeo was third with 449, and Panarin was fourth place in points back in slap one with 420. 23 of those points being from the previous game. Um, of course, still the same organization, so we count them. We'll roll with it, same as we do with the West stats. But uh, Debon on the other side of the pocket, he's been playing a fabulous defensive game. Um, he's not in the top 100 in saves, but he is pretty close. He has three, 133 saves on his career. He has been playing that long. He's only played about a season, season and a half. But uh, he has been notorious back on the defensive side so far this season. We'll see if he can pick it up and put it down. He's 126 in the defensive department. That does not include blocks. I do want to make up a stat that will just be, you know, every shot blocked. So blocks count, saves count. I want to see who leads in that department. It might be Panarin. It might not be because Slap 1 didn't track blocks back in the day. We only had the, uh, the original four, I believe. Goals, assists, shots, and saves. And of course, games played in points, but those are kind of, you can figure those out after uh, after you sit down with a pencil on the chalkboard. But uh, those are our players to watch here tonight. It's going to be interesting. I have no idea who's going to be picking it up, who's going to be putting it down here tonight. I'll let you know as soon as they start to join the lobby. Of course, first here tonight, we have the Typhoons and the Stars. After this game is over, Typhoons play another one against the Napoli Neapolitans. Neapolitans sitting pretty high on the standings. Higher than I was expecting. It's got to be said, got to be noted, I had my doubts, but they're... Uh, they're playing to the tune of their own drums so far this week, and uh, we'll see. We'll get more into that whenever that pregame comes around. Of course, Kota Cook stars through the remaining games this week. They'll be playing their second game tonight um, against the Hershey Squirts at 10 o'clock, so not the next game after this one, but the game following that one for a third of four games here tonight. And then, of course, we turn our attention to IM at the end of the night. Generations Red Hots will be taking on each other at 1030 um, here on the SPL Network. But, uh... Yeah, we still got about three minutes to burn before this drop of this first puck. Kota Cook having two of their three matchups here tonight. Their Plymouth Plague match is uh, still being scheduled out. Of course, Ocean City Typhoons um, starting off week three with two of their games tonight as well. Taking on the Stars, taking on the Neapolitans, and then their Cedar Rapids Cottonmouths game. Still looking to get that one scheduled. Bangled working his hardest. I'm sure uh, Golden Knight or MVM are really, uh, really writing out the scripts over in their department. But... Um, yeah, I suck at this game, but I love watching SPL. Hey, welcome to the club. I can't play this game for the life of me. If I if I get bumped out of the crease one more time by Pip Star Lather, I might break my mouse. I it's just it's just how it is. Um, but yeah, thank you, Gubby, for the uh, for the resub. 15 months going strong. Yo, let's go, Panarin. He says, thank you, thank you for that. I hope you're having a great day, Gubby. I haven't seen you around for a while. You know, after uh, after last night. Kind of went back into his cave, just let it sink in what just happened out there on the ice. Gubby played a fabulous defensive game last night against the Plymouth Plague. One of the biggest reasons they found a W in their uh, in their pocket after that one. I would highly recommend going back and watching that. That was, that was a fabulous game they played. Darth, can you give me a hug, please? Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. Um... Yeah, Beeford kind of got kicked out of the uh, the Ocean City franchise earlier on this season to make room for T and Ridge. I don't know if I would condone it. I don't know if I agree with it, but uh, him and Khan started the season on the roster. And, uh, well, as of, I think it was the 28th, that trade went into effect um, at the end of the season. Of course, T used to play this season on the Hartford Wolves down in the intermediate division. Just look to hang out, looking to hang out with some buddies. And uh, the Hartford Wolves are always a good time to hang out in VC. I might be drastically younger than them, but uh, it was a fun time whenever I was on their, their team for a cent T, picking it up as I uh, departed along with Blue Shop. And, uh, well, we'll see how the Hartford, uh, Hartford Wolves helped train them to uh, stay um, fluent. Fluent in Slapshot. I don't know any other way to put that. But, um, yeah, the, the betting is pretty even. Um, as you can see on the uh, in the chat, of course, uh, four, five players in the lobby: Chef, Bangled, Debon, whoever Cooter is, T, Ridge, Panarin, and Bo Rat in the lobby. 
Um, so, it looks like T's going to be taken to the ice for the first time in the Pro Division this season. Uh, C-Man also joining alongside them. Um, but we have we have three OGs in in the club. Uh, we're going to see if they play, if they start tonight. I'm interested. I, I have no idea what to expect from the Typhoons. Because there's two ways that retirement can go in Slapshot. It doesn't exist. And everyone that says they're retiring just means for a little bit. T, Panarin, both starting tonight along Chef. And that'll be your starting lineup for the Typhoons. Napoli's still mulling it over. Uh, Kota Cook's still mulling it over. And, uh... I'll let you know whenever they, they get into the uh, the ready stance. Yeah, the prediction's very even. It's got to be noted. I think it's, what what is that, one to two odds in favor of Kota Cook? No matter who wins, I'm happy. Thoughts on C-Man? He's all right. He has a lot of clips of me that I don't want to get out, so I, I, I enjoy his presence. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm rooting for Chef and Pierre. That's it. A man without biasy. I wish I could say that for myself. You guys might hear it in the broadcast, but I, I have a little biasy to one side of the ice. It's Panarin. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to have Pierre start this one. Pierre's having a little bit of router issues. Um, trying to figure out which wire to cut, which wire to leave there uh, for his Ethernet cable. And uh, I'm gonna leave. You, I'm gonna give you guys a really big hint if you ever have this issue. Uh, don't cut any of them because an Ethernet cable is just one wire. If you cut that, you probably won't. It, it might not go well for you. Um, but yeah. Just gonna little little nugget there. He's lagging so bad. Says Devon. Where does he? Ha I I yeah. I have many things I want to say to that. I'm not going to say any of them, though. But this game will happen. We have enough players in the lobby to have, like, a 4v4 match. Um, yeah, Debon, Borat. Who's Cooter? Debon, please let me know. Oh, KOTOR. That makes so much sense. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, you know, the wires clicked as soon as I read the message. And uh, yeah, my, my several numbers of IQ are coming out right here right now. Debon, Borat, KOTOR playing out on the ice. They're getting warmed up. Six ready to rock, six ready to roll. We got six on the ice. Ocean City going to be on the left. Kota Cook on the right. I, I'm really, I'm not a huge fan. Where's the minimap button? There she is. All right, we're rocking. We're riding with it. We're leaning with it. We're pulling it out to the near side. Panarin with the puck sends this one down the near side. Goes off T top side over to Chef. Shot saved away. As Alan ricochets off that far side and out of the zone. Here's Panarin with it now. Panarin. Down to the near side, Debon there challenging him. Good shot, Kotor there awarded that save. Sent off this near side, finding his way back off Panarin. Looking for the shot, nice save by Kotor off the far side. Finds his way back out to the point. Here's T with it now. T collecting this one down to the near side. One of the former threes of the Plymouth Plague and the Columbus Clappers as he sends this one over to Chef. Chef down in the corner looking to keep the cycle alive. Here's Kotor with it now for the Stars. Kotor picking up the first few possession seconds for the boys in red. Here's Borat shooting off that far side, and that goes just wide. Here's Debon down low in the offensive corner, sent down corner to corner to Borat, looking to pop that one out in front, but Panarin has that gate shut. Here's Panarin with it now, with a minute elapsing off this first period clock. Three shots have been made that hit the net, all three of them from the Ocean City Typhoons. Panarin, backhand pass off the boards, finds Chef. He's cooking it up towards the cage. Nice stop there by Kotor once again. Four for four on his save so far tonight. We'll see how long that 100% uh, keeps up. 
Kotor near side pushes it out to Borat. Borat whips this one along to the far side. Wall finds his way into the slot. Debon there to return that to the center. Borat out to the near side point. Here's Kotor with it off that forehand. Chips this one to his captain. Debon with a shot. Panarin with the block out at the top of the hash marks. Panarin fighting with the stick. Goes off Debon's stick back over to the boys' cage. Here's the boys in blue with it now. Here's Panarin. Leaking this one down towards the near side. Long distance shot. Hits the no. It goes into Typhoons. The first on the board. 1-0. 3 minutes. 23 remaining in this first period. And if it's open, why not hit it? And we have ourselves the difference. Kotor collecting his thoughts back on the defensive side. Whips this one topside. Goes off Chef along the topside wall. Takes it away. T here with an empty 4 by 6 pole. Shoots. Waits too long and hits the side of the cage to keep that rebound in the near side corner. Chef recycles that one back over to Panarin. Panarin here with it now for Ocean City off the backhand. Over to Chef. Chef right on the dime. Shooting off of T and off the far side. That one leaks out wide. Look a lot like that case fire shot back in season 2. You guys know about the clip if, you're, if you've been around for it. T knows what I'm talking about. Here's Panarin with it now. Top side. Sorry, I read a little ahead on that script. Here's Panarin with it now, top side. Dangles his way back down through Center Avenue over to Chef. Chef one on one, finds his tee. Shot saved away by Debon, just barely getting enough of that one to keep that one off that far side. T here collects that one, top side, dumped down, looking for the area past the Chef, but Debon beats him to it. Here's Kotor with it now. Halfway through the first. Good shot just off that near side by about a foot. Debon with a bank pass looking for himself. Here's Panarin with it now. Chips this one out to the neutral zone. Kotor with a shot, and that goes wide off the far side. Here's Chef with it. Backhand pass to T. T here looking to pull it. Swung down the near side. Goes past Borat, but nobody in blue to pick that one up. Coats over the long distance shot. Panarin there with that save. Goes off the backhand. T from the hip to the forehand. Shot goes wide off the far side and into the corner. Here's Chef with it once more. Scoring off the top right corner. And that's right where you stick the stamp. 206 remaining in the first. And the Ocean City Typhoons have the lead. 2 0. A good shot, a good pull. Beautiful shot. Panarin, not finding too much luck down Center Avenue. Leaks this one down the near side from the point. Pulls this one back out. Debon with a good stick check. T with a shot blocked away at the blue line. Debon challenging T with the puck. Goes off to Panarin. Back to the defensive side. Panarin not having a whole lot to work with here in terms of elbow room. Debon applying that back checking pressure every step of the way. Panarin gets a step. Shooting. Far side hits the post and that goes down as an unmarked goal. Shooting. Scars and Chef with a collective leftovers. Finds a way to make a meal out of it. Great shot. Makes it 3 0 for the Typhoons. Stars looking to get one shot on the board before the first period's over. They haven't had a lot of time with the puck. We'll see if they can make a mountain out of a molehill. 133 to do so. Pass topside. Debon chips it towards the cage just wide. Here's Panarin fighting for this one against Kotor off that near side post from the Ocean City zone. Kotor. Borette back to Kotor. Panarin banks that one off his own back shelf. Panarin here just looking for the long distance shot and he hits the post and that goes wide off the far side. Debon, the last point of contact, almost putting it in his own net. 111 here in the first and time still ticking. Couture down to the near side. Forehand pass off the boards, finds Borat. Borat, forehand, Debon, pull, shoot, scars in the first shot. a beautiful one. A little tick, a little tack, a little toe. And uh, he hits his captain just about right inside the crease. Debon could have walked that in probably, but. Uh, don't want to chance it when you're down by three. The difference is two. Kota Cook down, but they're not out of it. Kotor taking chances back into his own realm of uh, influence. Kotor top side. Forehand pass. Debon off of the hands of Panarin. Goes off to the near side. Here's Borat after this one. Gets the first touch for the Stars. Kotor top side. Pops this one down low into the corner. Debon. Kotor with a shot. Goes inside one side of the crease and outside the other. Borat. Debon. Down along the blue line. Fishes this one top side corner. Here's Panarin with 30. Panarin off this forehand. Looking for the shot. Hits the post, goes in, and it is now 4 1. Second goal scored for Motion City from their own defensive end. The spirit of Crooks is with us tonight. This is the Pro Division, Speed Chaser. Glad to see you're, you're back around. Long time no talk. 18 seconds remain here in the first. Three goals the gap. Typhoons right now in the lead. Stars having something to say about it. Almost pulls it in. What a save by T off that near side. The first one hits the post. Second one hits T right in the back end. Panera with a huge save there. And uh, the score will remain the same. Devon with a shot goes off. Goes toward T. Able to keep the physicality out of the way. And that will end the first. It's 4-1 here in Kota Cook. And the Typhoons have the lead. Good shots for both sides of the ice. And uh, it's anybody's game. 
Ocean City hitting the long shots. Coda Cook ha for trying to force Coda Cook to leave one man back, play a little bit more spread out. We'll see if that has any effects going into the second period. Um, not entirely sure if it will. But uh, yeah, Panera, two goals on his five shots and a save right now. Considered to be player of the game. Everybody ready to rock. Everybody ready to roll in the lobby. Start of the second. Typhoons left side. Stars on the right. Do you want a Panarin for the puck drop? And it will be so. Clean five on the clock. Clean five is ticking. Time is underway. T pulls, shoots off that backhand, and that one goes wide. Borat with a bank pass to himself, forces that one off the forehand over to Debon. Debon back over to Borat. Borat here. First time on the ice here tonight. Looking to make the most of it. Off the backhand, fed over to Kotor. Kotor over to Debon. Off the noggin, able to deflect it on with a little bit of poise, a little bit of precision. Would have been a fabulous goal. T with a nice try out into the crease, but Debon shuts that one down. Panarin here towards the top side of the ice. Debon there picks that one away, shooting off the near side, and that goes wide. Panarin off the backhand towards the top side of the wall. Pulls this one down to the near side, trying to peel this one away from Kotori. Able to do so. Gets a step on him as a three-on-two in favor of the Typhoons. T off the backhand. Fane's on that one. Keeps this one along the end wall. Here's Borat out of the zone. Chef with a nice stop. Debon pulls that one off the forehand, forces it back out to the neutral zone. Here's Panarin collecting his thoughts topside. Borat lets that one leak off the hands of T and into the far side corner of the Kota Cook zone. Debon, Borat. Out of the reach of Kotor. Kotor recollecting off the forehand back and tries to dangle it in. Panarin there shuts the gate at the very last second. Panarin, forehand pass, goes off to Chef. Chef in the corner. Looking to weave that one off the end of the cage. Back to himself. Backhand pass. T with a shot. I nice save by Borat. Kotor picks this one up on the near side corner. Sent over to Debon. Debon back behind the trapezoid. Looking to take his time. Looking to get a step from Chef off the uh, off the goaltender. Or off the uh, off the net. Using that as a bit of a fence. Good save there. Sent off the near side and out of the zone. Back to the Ocean City end. Here's Panarin, top side, off the backhand, not liking what he's looking at, tries to make a little opportunity himself. Off the forehand, a good shot blocked there by Borat at the top of the faceoff dot. Debon, back to himself, off the backhand, gets a step on this breakout, starts it off strong, top side to Borat. Borat shooting, nice save by Panarin. Kotor on the near side point, pulls this one down low into the corner. Kotor, tip of the stick over to Borat. Borat on the top side, we're gonna get this one back out to the point to Debon. Debon with a shot, goes off the far side and wide. Panarin, forehand, off the tee. T gets this one back into the neutral zone. Chef not able to win the checking battle against Debon. Debon pulls this one back for the Stars over to Borat. Borat takes his time for the boys in red. But halfway through the second, only a few shots have found their way through to the crease. Both teams playing a very high-impact neutral zone game. Debon challenging Panarin for the puck. Pop, top side. Good control here by Borat. Borat to the near side. Looking for the backhand. Chef says no. Chef over to T. T shoots. Nice save by Couture. And that one will pop its way loose back into the defensive side for Kota Cook. T with a good interception. Takes this one down along the far side wall. Looking to get this one peeled off off the backhand. Back out to the point. Panera with a shot. Ricochets into the near side wall. Debon pulls this one along to the near side over to Kotor. Kotor with a bank pass to himself. And a little bit of a sandwich down low in the Typhoon's zone. Kotor. Debon shooting. Hits the post and that goes wide. Kotor with a shot. Looking to bank that one off this backside of T. Debon shooting. Goes off T. Kotor on the far side. Almost able to pull that one along the post. That one goes off the far side, and that goes wide. Here's Borat with it now. Borat weaves his way back out to the top side. Kota Cook getting the better side of opportunity. I think Borat might have been their missing piece of the puzzle coming out of the first. 150 remains here in the second. 4-1 still our score. Debon with a chance. Goes off T. T here collecting his thoughts along the far side wall. Loses that one to Borat. Or Debon. Debon chucking that puck along the near side over to Borat. Out at the point. Shooting. Nice save there by Chef. And that one goes to the far side. Chef off the backhand. Borat with the takeaway. Shooting off Debon and in it goes. Oh my goodness, it's messy on the court. 134 remains and they bring that gap down to two. What a play, what a shot, what a header. Stick that one on the fridge, mom. Holy cow, Star's giving us something to watch. Debon with a shot, scores, and they're back within one. The hats go out, nine shots equal on both sides of the ice with the goals. A little lopsided still. Stars still got some work to do. We'll see if they can pull this one back. Ocean City scoring two from their own side of their blue line. Stars only have one. We'll see what happens. Borat, T. T looking to pull this one down the near side. T in trouble. Pass top side across the crease of the top side wall. Kota Cook there to dump that one down by Kotor. Panarin challenged by Borat. Borat with a better stick check. Finds his way to the top side point to Kotor. Kotor with a shot. Scores! And we're tied at fours. The Stars 
absolutely putting the pedal down to the floor here in the second. They have nothing but goals to show for it, and they have themselves a ball game. 104 to work with here in the second. Stars, Typhoons, tied. Panera with 54 seconds remaining here in the second. Pass top side. Goes out of the reach of two players. Over to Debon. Debon here for Kota Cook. Takes this one down to the near side. Debon banks this one to the top side to himself. Regains composure. Looks down to the near side to start the breakout. Chef staying in the passing lane very prominently. Here's Kotor to pick up where Debon left off. Kotor looks top side. Chips that one to Borat. Borat gets around Panarin, but a good stick check brings that one back to the Ocean City end. Here's Panarin with it now. Off the forehand, over to T. T down low. Sends that one across the crease, but Devon is letting that one leak out to the far side wall. Chef Panarin from the point. Shooting! Saved there by Kotor. Goes off Chef back over to Panarin. Panarin here with it now. Pass goes off to the near side to Borat. 11 seconds remaining here in the second. Kotor with a forehand try. Goes over to Devon. Shoots! Nice save by T. And that one might be the last chance. Borat tries! Nice save there by Panarin. And that one will do it here for the second. It's 4-4 at the end of two. Ocean City getting shut out in that middle section of play. We'll see if they're able to pick themselves up by their bootstraps and get back into this one. Kota Cook having the better side of shots, the better side of chances, and uh, they're making it a lot closer whenever it comes to possession time. That second period really pulled out for them. Um, let's take a look at the individual stats. Have I been saying? No. Borat's been on the ice for the whole game. I, I That's on me. I thought for sure I didn't see him in the first, but uh, we're keeping the same six on the ice, perhaps. T going onto the bench. Ocean City, we're going to see Flappagas on the ice for the first time here in Season 8. He'll be going by the name of Ridge, as he did previous few seasons. Six ready to rock. Six ready to roll. Down here at Cota Cook Center in Quebec. The puck has dropped. The game is on. A clean five on the clock is ticking. And the final chapter of play is underway. What are these teams walking away with the win by the next time we go back to the locker room? Just which team will it be? Panarin looks to the top side to start the breakout. Has a leading lane over to Chef. Does not. Oh, what a save by Debon. Keeps that one off the near side. Lets it simmer with the cookies in the windowsill. Here's Panarin shooting. Goes off Kotor over to the near side. Ridge over to Chef. Chef with a nice forehand. Nice control by Debon. Goes off the backhand twice. Has a shot lane. Shoot! Scars! What a chance taken advantage of from the Kota Cook Stars. They were on the ropes, but the ropes is where they wanted it to be. And they have the lead. 5-4 here in the third. A well-rounded player is worth diamonds. Debon absolutely feeling himself tonight. They got to play Hershey. We'll see if he can keep this one up going into that matchup at 10 o'clock. Of course, Ocean City playing another one right at the end of this one at 9.30 uh, against the Napoleon Neapolitans. Chef looking to wheel, looking to deal. Top side. Panarin here with it now. Panarin, all-time leading save maker here at SPL. Kotor looking to pull this one top side over to Debon. Debon shoots off the far side, and that one goes off the glass. Borat keeps it low. Kotor lets that one ricochet back out to the point. Chef here just challenging the puck carrier. Finds the puck in his favor. Forehand pass leaks off the stick. Not able to grab a hold of that one. Might be time to put new tape on the stick. Panarin off the near side just pushes this one north ways. Kotor picks that one back up where he left off. Stars with possession. Kotor top side. Look, uh, swoom. Look at that. Wow. Sure did hockey. That was crazy. Wow. Mm, yes, of course. Borat with a good try. Panarin back out of the zone. Borat here to challenge him off that near side. Pulls this one back to the defensive side. Ridge off the forehand. Top side over to Chef. Chef at the far side point. Back over to Panarin. Down center lane. Shot goes into the far side corner after this one. Here's Chef with the first two touches. Ridge able to pull this one back the near side. Back over to his three. Panarin with an out. Tries to reverse that one. Kotor reads that one beautifully. Panarin, Kotor, Borat in the neutral. Goes off the near side with that shot attempt. Kotor looking for this little panhandle to get this one back out in front. Not quite able to hit that one. Here's Borat, top side for Kota Cook. Off the forehand. Panarin there jabs that one away to loosen it up. Goes off to Borat with a nice takeaway. Ridge keeps this one low. Panarin gets past one, gets past two. Ridge, Chef, pulling off the hip. Not able to get the backhand shot release as the puck bounced back southways a little bit too much for it. Borat, Debon, shoots off the side of the cage and that one goes wide. Chef to Debon. Debon keeps it low for Kota Cook. Here's Panarin with it now. They're down by one. They need one more shot, and they can equalize. Here's Kotor down low in his own zone. They're looking to extend this lead to two with his next drive. Borat having a little difficulty against Panarin on the far side wall. Kotor gets involved. Chipped over to Borat. Borat off that backhand. Sends that one back defensively to Kotor. Kotor loses the puck. Goes off to Chef. Chef off to Kotor. Back to the far side red line. Here's Panarin weaving. 
And Aaron has two passing lanes to take. He goes with Ridge off the near side, and he'll send that one right back to the sender. Here's Panarin with it now back at his own blue line. Looking to eye him up, looking to weigh his chances off the backhand. Shoots! Nice save by Debon. Debon, backhand, over to Borat. Borat plays the physical game back over to Debon. Shoots off the post, hits the post off the near side, and Panarin a little almost panhandle to get that one out of the defensive end. Very close, very close indeed. Stars would have loved that one on the board, but uh, just wasn't meant. Chef, backhand, out of the zone, just trying to give his boys some time to breathe. They still have a minute 38 to get one shot on the Coda Cook's uh, Coda Cook goal. And that's really all that you that's all you really need. One quality chance taken advantage of. Changes this entire game from either side of the ice. Debon, Kotor, near side, stopped by Panarin. Panarin looking to get this one down the near side. Off that forehand, finds his way over to Chef. Chef off the backhand, fans on on the first try, comes back for it later. Off the backhand, Kotor. Back, not able to get that one out of the zone. Panarin to Chef goes over to Ridge. Ridge on the top side corner. Back out to the slot. Nice control there by Kotor to keep that one out of the way of harm. 107 and ticking here on the third. Stars have the lead, but it's only by one. Panarin dancing his way near side. Tries to get it to Chef. Goes off the face of Kotor and into the near side corner. Bo right here with it now. Looking for the backhand pass to Debon. Debon not able to carry it. Typhoons regain possession. Panarin, top side. Ridge, shoot, scores! And they're tied! A great forehand shot with 51 seconds flat. Panarin, Ridge, a timeless duo off that far side, and that's all that matters right now. They're tied. Next goal probably wins. We'll see if uh, Typhoons can build off this momentum. Kotor tightening it up, looking for the shot. Good defense by Panarin, staying in that shot lane right along the faceoff circle. Chef, Kotor, back to Chef, down to Panarin. Panarin here with it now, 37 to work with. He's scored two from back there tonight. Will it be three? Panarin. Off to the near side, banks it out to Ridge. Ridge with a shot, nice save by Devon. Here's Ridge once more with it, cycled out to Chef. Chef with a shot, nice save by Couture. Chef once more, out in front, Ridge a little behind on that play, thought Debon was gonna get a piece of that one. Top side, Chef. Chef with a forehand, feints that one away, goes off Couture. Ridge with a good stick check, finds possession back for the Typhoons, off the backhand, gets past one, looking for the lane against Borat, not able to find anything to juice with it. Here's Debon top side with seven seconds remaining, looking to hold on to this one point, perhaps here's Couture with it. And uh, that will be the end of regulation. We're in overtime. Next goal wins. Loser gets one point in the standings and a pat on the back. Winner gets two standing points just like a regulation win. The puck's dropped and an infinite amount of time is underway. Ridge, Borat. Borat pulls this one away for the Kota Cook Stars. Top side over to Kotor. Off his hip. Gets this one out the full 200. Here's Chef with it now for the Typhoons. Chef. Top side, Ridge, back over to Chef. Chef only has one man down the ice, takes his way down to the uh, down to Panarin. Borat takes that one right away, sends this one back to his captain for Kota Cook. Here's Debon against Ridge. Chef gets involved. Chef gets it low for Ocean City. Forehand pass goes off Kotor into the far side wall. Ridge keeps this one back to the point. Nice shot blocked away by Borat. Back at the faceoff dot. Here's Kotor. Here's Ridge. Here's Panarin. Panarin down low, back over to Ridge. Ridge out in front. Nice stop by Kotor to keep that one in the near side corner. Ridge tries as he must, not able to get through the Kota Cook defense with ease. Debon looking near side, back over to Kotor. Kotor, 50 seconds elapsing into this overtime period. Looks back into his own defensive side for a little, uh, little uh, ease of access off this near side. Bo right there fighting for his life along this near side wall against Panarin. Panarin wins it away for the Typhoons. Here's Panarin once more with it to the top side wall. Crosses his one down to the near side over to Ridge. Ridge here with an out with a forehand chance. Not able to get the puck to work with him. The network smoothening might have just been messing with his mind. A little mind games there from the server's side. People think it's a six on, or it's a six man game, but man seven out there on the ice showing his worth. Shot scores! Chef able to find its way through the crease off his noggin into the twine. The Ocean City Typhoons with a shot from Panarin find themselves the overtime winner at the end of three. What a game, what a match, what a story to be told. Kota Cook getting their second overtime loss here this season. Ocean City with their second victory in season eight. It's got to feel good. It's got to feel warm. Got to make them feel a little fuzzy. 17 shots to 15. Ocean City had the better side. And uh, that possession time coming out in a big way. Of course, Kota Cook's passing game second to none here tonight. And, uh, well, getting into who did what here this afternoon. Chef, great offensive drives. Had himself a field day. Six shots, three goals. Make up the hat trick. Most out of Ocean City. But Panarin, I think, had the most influence on the game outside of Debon. Debon played fabulously. Four goals in his nine shots, five saves. And Kotor, of course, a brick wall keeping Kota Cook alive into overtime. The one point is going to be well appreciated in, uh, in Kota Cook's corner. We'll see how it affects the season as we get closer to the tail end of it. Of course, 
Ridge, Panarin, putting on a show on the offensive side. Panarin had eight saves out of the team's ten, and uh, you gotta you gotta make note of it. The man knows what to do behind be, be, uh, behind the play, knows how to direct it, and uh, we'll see that much more coming up next. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this matchup. Moving on to the next one, Napoli. Ocean City, coming up next on the SPL Network. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Darth. We'll be right back with more Slapshot action.